good morning good evening or good afternoon i don't know what time you are watching the video so greeting is important for me so dear friends uh, i will discuss here the pigeonhole principle it is the subject discrete mathematical structures of the fourth sem cse stream students subject code is bcs 405a okay so first of all i will discuss the statement later on we'll move through the uh, model question paper uh, the question based on pigeonhole principle a very simple principle which uh, which was uh, proposed by peter uh, directlet it is also called as directlet's principle okay so what it states is the question uh, state the pigeonhole principle so if n pigeons are assigned to m pigeonholes such that m is less than n then at least one pigeon hole must have two pigeons okay so you no need to worry about the statement if you are not getting it let me give an example over here okay if n pigeons are assigned to m pigeon hole suppose you will consider this m pigeon hole as classrooms suppose i have three classrooms over here okay these you assume these are the three classrooms and there are four students suppose i will take the name chirag is one manjunath is one okay and next i will take here aditya or adil is another one okay so these are the four students which we have to assign in these classrooms okay separately first of all if i will take chirag here okay in the first classroom and uh, this is manjunath in second classroom okay and third is aditya this is in third classroom okay and now uh, this is adil so I have to adjust this Adil in any of three classrooms. It may be here, it may be here, or it may be somewhere here. Okay, it is your choice. I, I may take here Adil, Adil over here, okay, or sometimes here or here. This is the principle. If n pigeons are assigned to m pigeon holes such that m is less than means m pigeon holes. I have considered these pigeon holes as classrooms. So classroom should be less than m should be less than n number of students. Number of students are how much? Four okay so how many students are there four students are there so m is obviously less than n then at least one pigeon hole must have two pigeons see here this one classroom have two pigeons or two students over here which i take the example okay so at least one pigeon hole should have two pigeons so this is the principle hope it is clear to you people right now on the same particular concept we have the question uh, in the model question paper okay so before going to this particular question i will give another example suppose i have I, I can take 13 students over here okay so 13 students are there right and there are 12 months i have to show that at least two students are there who are having the birthday on the same month okay so let me take here the months first jan feb february march april may june july august september october november and december right so 13 students are there i have to show that show that at least two students are having the birthday on the same month see it is a common sense suppose i will take first student has having a birthday on january another one is having here another one is having in the march another one is having in the april month okay likewise fifth is here sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth eleventh and twelfth these 12 students are having separately birthdays on these particular months now 13 uh, this 13th student which i have adjusted to the these months it is your choice in which month you will adjust to this 13th one okay either it may be in january either it may be in february uh, either it may be in march likewise okay i can take here the 13th student so what this principle states that n pigeons are assigned to m pigeon holes so i am assigning 13 students for the 12 months okay so then the remaining student which i am adjusting in the january so one pigeon hole must have two pigeons okay hope it is clear to you people this is the pigeon hole principle right so now let me solve the question over here that is your model question paper question state pigeonhole principle prove that if any number from 1 to 8 are chosen then two of them will have their sum as 9 hope you are getting so we have numbers from 1 to 8 and we have to take two numbers we have sum as 9 over here right so in order to write down the solution first of all write down the set of numbers so set of numbers is 1 2 3 up to 8 okay so i can write the numbers of set 
this one two three four up to eight can be grouped can be grouped in pairs such that grouped in pairs such that sum of each pair sum of each pair is equal to nine okay so see here choose then two two of them will have their sum as nine first of all we'll check the possibility how many numbers will have the summation as nine so see here from this pair one eight is one set eight plus one is nine another we have the possibility two comma seven so two plus seven is nine and another possibility three comma six uh, it is again nine six plus three and four comma five again we have this set as uh, five plus four nine so these are the four possibilities having the summation as nine in this case okay so these four groups i may call pigeon holes so we have now pigeon holes how many four pigeon holes is equal to four so four pairs are there now i have to find out the pigeons number of pigeons how many pigeons i can take see here if i will give you the example over here i will take one two three four see here are you able to find any number who are having the summation as 9 1 plus 2 is 3 2 plus 3 is 5 3 plus 4 is 7 so uh, by taking four numbers it is not possible uh, to take the summation of two numbers as 9 so now i will take 5 1 2 3 4 5 see here one pair is here 4 comma 5 uh, which has the summation as 9 so 5 is the least possibility which we can take and the summation is 5 over here so go through the pigeonhole principle so at least one pigeonhole must have two pigeons here we have the pair 4 comma 5 so at least uh, by taking five numbers we have the uh, pair 4 comma 5 when you add up you will get 9 so at least we should have one pair okay in this case over here so i will take numbers is equal to 5 these are your pigeons see the condition is satisfied m is pigeonhole which is denoted by m and numbers is 5 so n is equal to 5 m is equal to 4 so m is less than 5 this is according to the pigeonhole principle okay <clears throat> now we can write down in the solution we can write down therefore pigeon hole principle pigeon hole principle is applicable applicable therefore pigeon hole principle you have to write down this much in the examination okay pigeonhole principle states that states that one pigeon pigeon hole one pigeon hole must have at least two pigeons right so here at least two numbers will add up will add up to 9 as i earlier showed you in the uh, explanation part okay we have the two numbers which have which we have the summation as 9 over here okay so this much is the solution for this particular problem i hope uh, it is clear to you people it is a very simple principle so you cannot uh, lose these six marks i believe in that so dear students kindly share this video to all your friends who actually need it thank you Thank you.